Welcome dear friends to TIBP Media, July 19 to July 20, 2024. The world experienced an IT outage. Is this a test run of the new world order? Banks are frozen, flights are cancelled, communications are down, credit cards are down. Are we going to experience more of these global outages in the future and how can we prepare? Thank you dear friends for supporting this ministry. Kindly share and like this video. The largest IT outage in history leaves world reeling. Shocked the world, crippled the world. It goes on flights where grounded offices were actually closed. Banks and transactions were crippled. Emergency responses systems were down. The healthcare systems were also down. Smart vehicles that requires the internet and including our smartphones. There is no internet so there are no apps that are working. How would we travel? And according to the news, they are blaming CrowdStrike. Breaking this morning, a global Microsoft outage wreaking havoc. Hospitals, banks, international airports, news services, and even some 911 services down this morning. The outage linked to an update by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. Major airlines issuing a global stop on flights over the massive tech outage, hitting software that runs check-ins at airports and keeps flights on time, threatening to delay July travel. Airports impacted in Boston, Chicago, New York, L.A., LaGuardia, uh, Milwaukee, Denver, and Las Vegas. American Airlines, United Airlines, and Delta have ground stops in the United States but are allowing flights in the air to continue to their destination. Global banks, shipping ports, and even the London Stock Exchange hit hard this morning by the outage. The entire system failed wholesale. Visa, MasterCard, debit cards are down. ATM machines are down. And in many countries, withdrawals are not possible. And the global elite are talking about the black swan. What is the black swan? The black swan is a metaphor, meaning an event, a high impact event that is difficult to predict under normal circumstances. The World Economic Forum says that there would be black swan surprises and that the world would experience some sort of shutdown. But how did the WEF know that it is coming? Last factor I want to mention is resilience, the capability to bounce back because there will be certainly what we call the black swans, the unpleasant surprises which will come. Same message from the Pope of Rome, the Antichrist. He said greater omens are coming. Reporter Catherine Herridge concerned about the potential unexpected event that are coming this year 2024. Senior investigative correspondent for CBS News has sparked alarm with her prediction of a potential black swan event that is coming in 2024. Here is what she says. Oh, mine's a little dark. I just feel a lot of concern that 2024 may be the year of a black swan event. This is a national security event with high impact that's very hard to predict. Um, there are a number of cons uh, concerns that I have that factor into that. Whitney Webb, a prominent investigative journalist, says on X, formerly Twitter, for those interested in the recent news regarding the crowd strike, consider that crowd strike is a part of the global cyber alliance part of the world economic forum have led effort to force underline that word to force you to adapt to a digital only society of course to stop cyber crime mr ray posted this on twitter and it has garnered 3 million views in just a matter of minutes he said I don't think you guys fully grasp how big this is. Around a billion computers are brick worldwide, mostly corporate ones. This isn't just an online service going down for a few hours. 
every affected computer needs to be rebooted in fail mode and have a driver manually removed. Most corporate computers given to employees don't let users do this themselves. Even if they could, imagine every single double-digit IQ wagey trying to handle a moderately complex task when many don't even know what a file is anymore. I can't stress enough the scale of this happening. Have you ever heard about the company Vanguard and BlackRock? The power of these two companies is something we can barely imagine. Not only are they the largest institutional investors of every major company on earth, they also own the other institutional investors of those companies giving them complete monopoly. According to a report, Bloomberg, one of the most respected institutions in the world in the field of financial data and analytics experts, expects that by 2028, both companies, BlackRock and Vanguard, will collectively manage about $20 trillion in investment and in the process will own almost everything on earth. Dear friends, can you imagine two companies under the power of men having undescribable, unimaginable riches and influence here on earth? Will there be a possibility that this would be used for abuse? Bloomberg called BlackRock the fourth arm of government because it is the only non-government entity that has a close relationship with the federal banks, also called the central banks. Can men on earth easily control the buying and selling? Based on the outage that we have witnessed now, they can control transportations, bank, transactions, food, and communications. Does Bible prophecy speak about the merchants of the world that will be under the control of the Church of Babylon, the Church of Rome? For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with the Roman Church with the church of rome with her mother babylon and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury reading on in verse 23 the light of a lamp shall not shine in you anymore and the voice of the bridegroom that's jesus and the true church of god the bride shall not be heard in you anymore for your merchants were the great men of the earth who are the merchants of mother babylon the great men of the earth by your sorceries because by your sorceries all nations were deceived do you see this dear friends did you know that bible prophecy reveals a coming world blackout a worldwide outage in revelation 20 there is no secret rapture there would be no seven year tribulation why because rome no one will be remain alive during the millennium this is also to show that powerful men on this world is nothing compared to the real owner of this world and his name is jesus christ the king of kings and lord of lords they can take all earthly comforts and deprive the remnant of our needs. But those who will endure unto the end shall be saved and receive the crown of life. Psalm 32. Let's claim the promise that God is our refuge and strength, a present help in the time of trouble. Dear friends, may we choose to be on the Lord's side. How can we know if we are on the Lord's side? If we walk by faith in obedience to the commandments of God. Because the loudest way to say, Father, we love you, is by obeying the commandments of God. Choose today, dear friends, whom you will serve. Kindly type in the comment section, I 
am in the Lord's side. TIBP appeals to every viewer to surrender to the blood of Jesus and obey His Ten Commandments. Jesus says, John 14 verse 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. Are you on the Lord's side? Kindly type in the comment section, I am in the Lord's side. Kindly share this timely update to all and continue to share Jesus and Bible prophecy.